Hey guys, it's Quazala Zakwa Kukuala Quaza. Zabuluza. Just kidding, it's GAV123. And today I'm gonna do another episode of uh, GAV123 Weather. So basically, this is a special edition where I talk about specific places that have a monsoon. Okay, first, let's start off with the North American monsoon. Let's start with Monterey, Mexico. The wet season lasts from late May to September. The dry season lasts from October to February. The medium season, as the gap between the wet and dry, as I like to call it, is March through April. Now, Tucson, Arizona, the state in the United States that I live in. Yeah, so Tucson monsoon, wet season is from early July to September. The dry season goes from October to December. The medium season is January through May. Uh, in North America, the monsoon isn't that strong because it's both northern Mexico and Arizona are mostly desert, so it's not all that strong. There's not a lot of rain. Well, the thing that you have to know about the North American monsoon is that there is that the wind starts changing directions. Let me explain. So here I have a globe. Okay, this is uh, the United States and Northern Mexico. Basically, during the dry season, the wind blows toward the ocean, bringing the rain clouds with it. During the wet season, it goes up the Gulf of California and straight into Arizona. And also, it brings a storm, sur a storm surge towards uh, Baja, California. Now I'll talk about the Central American monsoon. First I'll talk about the Honduras Central American monsoon. Tegucigalpa, to be specific. The wet season goes from April to October. The dry season goes from November to December. The medium season goes from January through April. The reason why the dry season is so short is because Central America is a rainforest. Rains year round, every afternoon. Now, the South American monsoon. First, I'll talk about Sao Paulo, Brazil. In Sao Paulo, the wet season goes from September to May. The dry season is June, medium, July through August. Well, Brazil is a... Uh, it also has a rainforest called the Amazon. And so in the Amazon, the monsoon isn't as strong because there's already a lot of rain. There, there's, there's barely a difference between the wet season and the dry season. So that was Sao Paulo. Now I'll tell you about Bocho Alegre. Uh, excuse my pronunciation. The wet season goes from November to March. The dry season goes from April to August. Medium season goes from September to October. About the South American monsoon in Sao Paulo and Porto Alegre, uh, it's a very strong monsoon. The Central American monsoon is a true monsoon. It, it's a true, it's 100% monsoon. Uh, the South American monsoon is just super, super strong. Now, I'll tell you about the West African monsoon. Okay, so Lagos, Nigeria. The wet season goes from June to October. 
The dry season goes from November through March. The medium season goes from April to May. In the West African monsoon, there is a storm surge. The wind, the reversing wind, blows the water onto land. Yeah, it was, yeah, kind of like Hurricane Katrina. The wind started blowing the water over the levees. Similar to that, but it's not as strong and it lasts much, much longer. Now I'll tell you about the Southeast African monsoon. Let's start off with Antananarivo, Madagascar! Okay, so the wet season goes from June through October. The dry season goes from November to March. Then the dry season, I mean the medium season, goes from April through May. The Southeast African monsoon is very strong. I mean, f during the dry season, the wind is moving towards the ocean. It's super, super dry. And then when the wet season comes, it's super, super wet. I mean, just rain, rain, rain everywhere. Now I'll tell you about the Indo-Australian monsoon. First, I'll talk about Kuala uh, Kuta Paru, Malaysia. The wet season goes from October through March. Dry season is in April. Medium season is in May through September. September! Oh my god. Now I'll talk about Phuket, Thailand. The wet season goes from March to December. Dry season January. Medium, February. Now... Colombo, Sri Lanka. The wet season goes from May to December. Dry season goes from January to March. Medium season is April. In Jakarta, Indonesia, the wet season goes from November to March. Dry season, April and August through August. Medium, September through October. Then, Chebu, Philippines. A Cebu, Cebu, I don't know how to pronounce it. The wet season goes from October to March. The dry season goes from April, is in April. Medium season goes from May to September. What you need to know about the Indo-Australian monsoon is that it's very strong, persistent, and abrupt. Now I'll tell you about the Indo-Chinese monsoon. First I'll talk about Bangkok monsoon. Uh, Bangkok is in Thailand. The wet season goes from May to October. Dry season November to December. Medium goes from January through April. Then Yangon, Myanmar, or as the more old school people like to call it Burma. Well, wet season goes from May to November. Dry season is December, medium, January through April. Then Dhaka, da I, I don't, yeah, that's kind of hard to, for Dhaka, Dhaka, da anyway, Dhaka, Bangladesh. Uh, wet season goes from mid-June to October, dry season November through March, medium season April through May. What you need to know about the Indo-Chinese uh, monsoon is that it's very persistent and strong. Now I'll tell you about a place where the monsoon is very well known, the Indian monsoon. In Kudala, uh, India, the wet season goes from June to December. Dry season goes from January through April. Medium season is in May. Now I'll tell you about Lahore, Pakistan. The wet season goes from July through September. The dry season goes through October to December. The medium season goes to January through June. Now, the Karachi, Pakistan, 
Cut season, July through August. Dry season, September to October. Medium season, November through June. Then, Mumbai. I don't know how to pronounce it. I, I'm just going to say Mumbai. <laughs> Mumbai, India. Well, anyway, the wet season goes from July through October. Dry season goes through uh, November to January. And the medium goes from February through June. We need to know about the Indian monsoon, but you probably already know it. Uh, it's very persistent and strong. This is because of the Himalayan mountains. You see, during the winter, wind from the north blows over it, bringing the rain clouds with it. It goes towards the ocean, so it rains in the ocean. But then, in summer, the wind starts coming from the equator, and it bumps into the Himalayas, and there's lots of rain. Chirapunji, India, is a good example. Now I'll tell you the about the East Asian monsoon. And what you guys need to know is that the East Asian monsoon is complicated, to say the least. Even for me, it's complicated. Uh, in Kaohsiung, Taiwan, the wet season is in May, dry season June through September, medium season January through April. Taipei, Taiwan, uh, goes from late May, dry season June through September, medium season January through April. Then Kagoshima. I don't. I think it's pronounced Kagoshima. I think so. Oh. Uh, the wet season is in mid-June. The dry season goes from July to December, medium season January through May. South Korea, Seoul. I think that's how you pronounce it. Seoul? 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 I think it's pronounced Seoul. Uh, well, anyway, the wet season goes from, is in mid-July. Dry season goes from August to December, medium season. January through June. And then, try not to get a flashback. Hanoi, Vietnam. The wet season goes is in late May. The dry season goes from June to December. Uh, the medium season is from January through April. Now, Beijing, China. The wet season is in late July. The dry season is in from August to December. The west, the medium season goes from January through April. Oh wait, no. January through May. Uh, I apologize for uh, messing up sometimes. My handwriting is kind of small, isn't it? Well, the reason why the East Asian monsoon is so confusing is because you shouldn't let the dry season confuse you. When I say dry, I don't mean like dry. I mean no rain from the monsoon. There will still be rain, but it's not caused by the monsoon. It's caused by typhoons. And you really want to be careful of typhoons. Please don't let the dry season of the East Asian monsoon confuse you. Um, please, don't let the dry season confuse you. And then, the Australian monsoon, Darwin, Australia. The wet season goes from October through April. Dry season is in May. Medium season goes from June to September. What you need to know about the Australian monsoon is that it's also strong. So, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoy it and... Forgive me for my bad pronunciation of these cities. Um, I, well, I really try to pronounce them. And also forgive me for messing up a few times. At least I corrected myself. Yeah, that's me. If I make a mistake, I, I want to go back and fix it. Yeah, that's me. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. 
uh, leave a like, and if you want to, you can subscribe. Bye, guys!